How do you think you did today? I thought it was solid overall. Um, got to show off the arm a little bit, get on the move. Um, not just take normal drops and normal routes, but like show, you know, sort of my craftiness. So I thought it was solid overall. Did give you any feedback about that deep ball on the sideline? Yeah, <laughs> not yet. I haven't talked to him about it, but it looked like he had to like get into second gear to go get it, and he did. So it was, it was sweet seeing all the, you know, players and teammates go crazy for him. So Brock, it was good. What was this experience like getting out there in front of NFL scouts? Yeah, I mean, growing up, like this is the dream, you know, to play at the NFL level. And so. When you're out here and you see all these, you know, scouts and coaches with like the NFL logo, you know, with their teams on their shirts and stuff, it's like, man, like, you know, I'm here, you know, I'm living the dream or trying to chase that dream. Not yet, but um, it's it's special. and I'm just trying to take in every moment. So you had a real varied script. I mean, you were left, right, on the roll, um, different receivers. What do you think you showed and what do you think you, what did you think you needed to show? Yeah, I think um, obviously like the script that we drew up was to you know, have some tempo so I don't get worn out quick. But overall, trying to, again, like I said, show my craftiness, um, being able to step up in the pocket, you know, flush out, hit throws on the run. And then obviously I think I need to show the deep ball. Um, I don't have a whole lot of film of that. So being able to air it out, you know, obviously to Brees, to receivers, tight ends, and then the accuracy, you know, within that deep ball um, is really what I wanted to show. And I thought, you know, today I did that. So um, yeah, that was good. You had a couple wide receivers that you're not used to throwing to. What's What's that like, kind of getting in, in sync with, with those guys? Yeah, um, I mean, really, this whole this past week, we had to get together a couple of times, get in rhythm, you know, practice the routes that we're going to have out here. And uh, they did a great job. They came in. You know, the, these guys are playmakers at, you know, their division and their team. And so um, I was very thankful to have them come out and, and do their thing. They did a great job of being there where I needed them to be, and I put it where, you know, they were going to be. So props to those guys. How did playing in this program and playing for Matt help prepare you for this moment? It was really special. I mean, the past four years, just the competitive nature and the the, the culture of, you know, winning, you know, our standard now here at Iowa State um, from coach, like sort of led us to this moment for all of us, um, you know, coming out here and all right, the lights are on, you know, we're all trying to play at the next level. We got coaches here, you know, it feels like everyone's watching and breathing down your neck. But, um, you know, that's the standard that we've built. And I think honestly, like for us, I think we're living up to it so far. So um, we're excited moving forward. What's been the most fun part of this process, uh, combine to now? And, and what's been maybe the weirdest part? It was obviously very different after yeah. four years. I think, I mean, just like the weirdest part, I mean, it's obviously testing for numbers and stuff. You know, you got a lot of people asking, all right, well, it's just going to correlate to being football, right? Like putting on pads, playing 11 on 11 football. So, I mean, you are training for that kind of stuff, which is a little different, but. I think you know at the end of the day, um, you do improve your game in terms of your speed, your agility. Um, obviously, for me, like I, I honed into the mechanics of being a quarterback, so I learned so much in that side of things. And um, obviously, it helped me today, and it's going to help me moving forward, like being a professional. You know, so um, those are things that I took away from training up until this point. Yeah, what did Will specifically hone in on you? Um, Played quarterback his whole life, but yeah. there were fundamentals that you probably wanted to really work on. What did yeah. you do now to be Yeah, um, I think Will was a huge part of, you know, where I'm at from now until, you know, when I played my last game in college. Just the mechanics, understanding how my body works, how I move, and, and how to throw a football. Like, actually, you know, starting with your hips and then through your shoulder. I'm sorry. Um, he really broke that down. And, um, you know, we obviously jumped in motion capture filming. You know, how do my hips work? How flexible am I? How important it is for me to work on those things that translate out onto the field. So he helped break all that down. And um, obviously, I think today, everyone was like, man, whoever you're training with, you got to continue to. So Will is a you know, huge part of you know, my progress so far. So I appreciate him. Your film is telling me, but you think that you showed more from the physical side today than maybe you had in the past? 100%. Yeah, I think um, I film overrides everything, right? Um, I, I believe in that and everything. but. Honestly, my progression from the end of you know that Clemson game up until this point, in terms of how I throw the football, how I move, um, I think I've gotten light years better because of the, obviously the training with Tom Gormelli, Will Hewlett, Denny Thompson, all those guys in Jacksonville. They've helped me tremendously. So. Bruce said one of the most fun things about being here with all you guys is you're all the same guys. Charlie, Dave's joking with them. And yeah. And all that, even though you're all different stages. Yeah. Go different ways. What's yeah. that been like for you? Not just today, but just in this pre-draft process. 
Yeah, I mean, we've all kept in touch, you know, when we went our ways and trained and stuff. And obviously when we all got back, man, it was so good, you know, to see everybody smiling and joking and hugging. And um, obviously, like, for us, like, our brotherhood here is real. Um, we play our four years here and everything and devote everything for each other for success on the field. But at the end of the day, man, when you come back here, you're professional and you got to get the job done. Um, and that's what I think we did. But, yeah, they're all back there, like, <laughs> joking around. But, uh, yeah, it was so good seeing them. Like, that's the culture that we have. It's going to last forever through the rest of our lives, our friendships and relationships. So, um, yeah, I'm so pumped for them moving forward. It's going to be sweet. So many kids dream of this opportunity, but they never get it. Is it a little surreal that, you know, from growing up dreaming of it and now it's here, is it, is it still sinking in a little bit that you have yeah. this chance? Yeah, de definitely. Like I said before, it's, it's a dream to play, you know, uh, professionally, obviously in the NFL. Um, and so when I'm out here, I'm just trying to take it in, you know, take in every single moment, um, believe that I'm here for a reason. You know, there's not everybody in this world that's – having a pro day, you know, and have this opportunity. So for us to be out here, we got to remember that, enjoy the moments, not try to think too much about the future. Where am I going to be? What's my life going to look like? All right, let's focus on what we got in front of us and enjoy it. So that's where I'm at. There's a quarterback type in what you know, I see it and know it, and where you fit kind of, you know, depends yeah. on what teams like. Where, where do you see yourself? How do you feel like you fit in this team? And, and when you go into those meetings, what do you tell them? Yeah, um, honestly, at the end of the day, like, I tell them that, you know, I believe in myself. I've always sort of just had this, you know, MO of being the guy that's overlooked. And, um, but once I do get my shot, my opportunity, it's like that team, the coaches, the players, they fall in love with who I am, what I stand for, and how I can help their program. And um, that's, that's what I tell them, you know, to start things off. But at the end of the day, like, I, I do believe that I'm a winner. Um, I get the job done. I give my, my team a chance to win. And so, um, yeah, that's what I'm really leaning on right now, going into the NFL, believing in myself, and understanding it's all going to work out for how it needs to. So.